Negative one degrees Frankenstein. Now that's a cold start. The oil is just gel at this point. Tell you what though, man, these Atlas motors, I'm a fan. Definitely a fan. Okay, so we've been warming up here for, I don't know, about 20 minutes. Now I'm pretty sure we're completely, like the wheels are frozen to the ground. Oh God. Yep, that would have been all four of the tires breaking loose, if you could hear that. Well, she's warming up now. I feel safe enough to take my gloves off. Yeah, it is just a mess. It's freezing cold. There's a gas station up here we're probably going to stop at. Button screws. It is literally no joke outside. All right, onward and upward. At the shop. All right, we're here. Oh, it actually went up a degree. Cool. It is one. We got a rendezvous here. That we got a rendezvous with, a literal rendezvous. And the problem with said rendezvous is, is the heat does not work. When they are sitting still, of course the keys are not in here because they never are. Oh, nope, they're here. They're always here. Okay, so let's see, does she start? Power steering pump a bitchin'. All right, so we're not getting heat when we're sitting still, but we're getting heat when we're driving. Well, that's dry. You're gonna have to address that. So basically, step one is we're gonna have to let this thing heat up. Because we're not gonna be able to figure anything out until she heats up. I turned the car or the truck off for like literally five minutes. It was completely at operating temp. Look at how cold it got already. Jeez, and it says it's one degree out. Man, I think we're gonna have to address that power steering pump, but honestly, I think we're gonna have to heat this thing up by taking it for a drive. It is cold in here. Let me get out. There we go. I did head gaskets on this about two years ago, and that was in the dead of winter. So I don't really see why, you know, she didn't, she would have known if uh, her heater core was plugged back then or if it was a result of that or anything, but things can change since then you know so i'm thinking it's the heater core and to really test that we're gonna have to get it up to temp and then uh i will show you one of the best ways to check in the heater core is you find your heater core you find the hoses that go to it there's an inlet and an outlet doesn't matter which one is which but one will usually be hot and the other one will usually be warm at best if not cold uh, i kind of think that might be what's going on here looks like it's getting close to temp so it should have some type of heat right now at least some type of an indicator of heat and I mean off the bat I've got it on just the vents and they're not blowing very hard I do feel a little presence of heat though so I don't know it's kind of making me feel like it's definitely heater core Seventy-seven. Does kind of fluctuate, doesn't it? I got data up and I got the cooling temperature up because uh, I want to make sure there ain't any funny business going on with that uh, gauge. I noticed it was fluctuating a lot. I want to see what the actual temperature is. I'm gonna take it on a long ride. One sixty-seven. I think that gauge is goofy. Oh, look at these people. I'm, I'm doing 50 miles per hour, thank you. About 20 minutes of driving so far, it is staying at 170, 172. For some reason now, it's starting to climb a little bit. So maybe we just weren't getting it warm all the way. I don't know. I 
drops all the way down to 160, 170. That's very, very cold for a, uh, a fuel-injected engine. Um, we'd like to see that more closer to two, honestly. I know it's freezing cold, so that's not really going to work, but 190 would be nice. So, I don't know. I'm going to get into a town up here, and then we're going to go slower, maybe stop for a minute, see what's going on. I still don't have full heat. I haven't had, you know, full heat this whole time, so I don't know. I really, really do kind of think it's the heater core, but that's a bit cold. Although if you have 170 degree water going through a heater core, you should get some kind of decent heat. I don't know. Yeah, it's just like steadily. It'll go up to 175 and then drop almost as if the T-stat is opening at 170 or 175, somewhere around there. Let's see if it does it again. There it goes, 174. Literally on cru cruise control, not changing anything in my driving pattern or anything, I'll watch. 70, maybe it'll drive at yeah, 168. I don't know, weird. I mean, I would swear the T-stat was opening early. Huh. And now, to do a heater core on one of these, it's like right under here, so I'm pretty sure the whole dash has to come off. A whole bunch of fun stuff, gotta drop the steering wheel, and uh, really no way around it. So maybe we can get them to just put some CLR through it and try to uh, flush it a little bit, but I don't know. And that's where our gauge reads about 170. So I would imagine 200, 210 is going to be in the middle where that's about normal. I don't know, I think there's something up with this T-stat. Alright, so we're at my favorite gas station owned by one of my favorite families in the area. So I'm um, just going to sit here and A, I want to see if my heat goes away, whatever heat I have, and I want to reference that to what the temperature is doing and see if it coincides or not. Now I'm sitting still, I do kind of feel it. We're at 174. 176. We should rise. So in theory, the heat should only get warmer. All right, so we've been sitting at 176. The far vent, I don't really have any heat. I'm gonna rev it a little bit, maybe just kind of hold it at around two. I can definitely feel heat now. Nothing but a decrease because the pump is moving and we get heat. Heater core, or sorry, heater core. Yeah, it's the heater core. 30 minutes of driving. I had to sit for about five minutes. And it's actually, I can get heat from when we're just sitting. And uh, we've actually made it to around operating temp. Um, this is very weird because I know that I felt a difference in the two inlet and the outlet of the heater core, but we still, we have heat now. So now what I'm gonna do, it might just be this cold. We're gonna take it for a ride and see what happens. Now it should drop. Yeah, no, we're right back to 168. It drops down down there. It's cold, folks. Doing that funky up and down thing again. Huh. Okay, so acting the same way. Took it for another little drive. I'm just curious. I kind of want to check the inlet and the outlet again. Because if this thing never got to operating temp, it would be hard for it to actually make proper heat. But it's weird that it would make proper heat when it's driving and not just sitting. Which is not weird, it makes sense, but hot as can be. This one is ice cold. One's ice cold. One is as hot as can be. I'm going to go all the way back to the firewall and feel them there. Yeah, it's cold. It's the other ones you can't even touch. I don't care what anyone says, that heater core is definitely clogged up. 
climb back up to 177. Uh, heat, yeah, heat's dropped. It's not really as warm. It's that heater core, definitely. But I think there's something going on with this T-Stat, too. But, uh, yeah.